In second day of testimony, FBI lover Lisa Page drops bombshell. Strzok is finished. By that conservative girl, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. With the world focused on President Donald Trump's performance in Helsinki, FBI lover Lisa Page finally gave her testimony on Friday and Monday. During the second day, she dropped a bombshell that no one saw coming, and it could mean that Peter Strzok is finished for good. During a series of lengthy closed-door interviews to the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees on Friday and Monday, former FBI lawyer Lisa Page was said to have been cooperative far more cooperative than her ex-lover, Peter Strzok, whose testimony last Thursday devolved into somewhat of a circus. Republicans lit into uh, Peter Strzok on Capitol Hill last Thursday, finally getting the chance to confront the discredited FBI agent in charge of the Hillary Clinton email investigation and the Trump-Russia investigation, including a short stint at as the top investigator on Robert Mueller's special counsel investigation before his text messages came to light. Although the stakes could not have been higher and Strzok uh, should have been a neutral party, he had penciled Clinton in for the White House from the very beginning and even sent text messages to his mistress warning that the FBI could stop a Trump presidency. A report from Department of Justice Inspector General Michael Horowitz contained shocking text messages between Strzok and Lisa Page, who testified on Friday and Monday. In the most damning exchange, Page texted Strzok, asking Trump's not ever going to become president, right, right? No, no, he won't. We'll stop it, Strzok replied ominously. This groundbreaking uh, report led the House Judiciary Committee to demand Strzok appear before Congress to explain the obvious biases, which should have led to his recusal. But last Thursday's hearing turned into a circus as Strzok used a series of strategies to deflect attention away from his crimes and at times yelling, flat out refusing to answer questions or expecting the Democrats to coddle him through the ordeal, which for the most part, they did. Lisa Page's closed-door testimony was far more cordial. In fact, Representative Mark Meadows has claimed that they already have all the information they need from her. And perhaps the most damning of the information lawmakers were able to collect from Page were statements that directly contradicted what her former lover said under oath just days before. As I said before, she is a very forthcoming witness, Texas Rep. Uh, John Ratcliffe told reporters after leaving the hearing room. She gave us a lot of new information that we didn't have before, so that will lead us to ask for some more people to make some more requests for information we do not yet have. I think there are significant differences between their testimony about important material facts, Radcliffe added. I think she has been as forthcoming as she can. I think she is trying to respect the real privileges that exist from her former employer, and she is getting direction from FBI counsel about not answering certain things, and she is trying to respect that. At the same time, I think she is trying to give us as much information as she's allowed to do, which I think is a distinction and difference from what we saw with Peter Strzok. Radcliffe told Fox News that contrary to Strzok's testimony, Page claimed the incendiary text between the two lovers meant exactly what they say. If you recall, Strzok told lawmakers that they should read the messages in context and that they were written late at night, so they shouldn't suggest any bias was 
at play during the multiple election-related investigations, Strzok added. Nah, we shouldn't look at that. It was late night. He didn't know what he was writing, right? So, Fox and Friends representative John Radcliffe, John Radcliffe reveals Lisa Page admitted her text messages with Peter Strzok meant, mean exactly what they say contrary to Strzok's testimony. Well, let's take a quick look. All right. Testimony on many cases. She Sorry. There are differences in, in their testimony on many cases. She admits uh, that the text messages mean exactly what they say as opposed to Agent Strzok, um, who thinks that we've all misinterpreted his own words on any text message that might be negative. Well... Of course, that's absolutely ridiculous. And Page's own testimony confirmed as much in those text messages, uh, if those text messages do in fact mean exactly what they say, then Strzok should have recused himself. Still, Representative Steve King said there's a long way to go in digging up the truth behind those who led the investigation which ultimately exonerated Hillary Clinton according to BizPack Review. I think uh, we're a long way from where we need to go with this, King told reporters on Monday. What I want to see are, I want to see the names of everyone who interviewed Hillary Clinton on July 2nd, 2016. I want to see their notes. I want to consider bringing each of them forward to testify what happened inside that room and then see if the, their notes and their testimony matches up to the 302 documents that in the end was the basis that Peter Strzok briefed, uh, Peter Strzok briefed uh, James Comey. I also want to see the names of the FISA judges and I want to see the FISA warrant uh, requests and the support documents that brought those requests forward, said Representative King. Once we get all those names put together, we might find that some of those folks are deeply enga engaged in other investigations right now, too. Indeed, we have a long way to go in this investigation, but one thing is certain at this point. Peter Strzok will be lucky if he ever gets a job again besides flipping burgers at the local fast food joint. Um, I, I want to see him put away for his treasonous actions because he's involved in the treasonous actions. He is a weasel. First of all, he should be put first uh, for mental evaluation because the guy is off the off his rocker. You could see like just his reaction, you know. And even Pete, the guy reacting in the back, if you recall, if you saw that video, like the guy's face in the back reacting to Strzok. I mean, it was priceless. It was absolutely priceless. Like. He, it was so obvious the guy was lying and the guy behind Strzok was like cracking up. Now, Strzok first should go for a mental evaluation. Either he should be locked up in the funny farm or something or uh, head into Git Gitmo in his brand new orange jumpsuit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.